Let's get to it. You don't have to run off on my account. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Whoa. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring, owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. 
If in your smarts, you'll find him. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Did you see something out there? That tower! I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Come. Here, boy. Huh, neat. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed to anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. What does it say? Uh, these runes read death inside. So, Rock said his friend was dwarven like him, wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. 
You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. That's a soul leader. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no afterlife, ever. It does not attack. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Atreus, to me!
Interesting. Here's the ring! On that severed hand! Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No. You will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Strong Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. the rest of him ashes most likely the soul leader got him i guess we should bring this back to brock
Read it. Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. It was a massacre. What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside, and well. He must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? 
Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside before he croaked. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. What else you need? How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road! Sorry. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember it? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happened? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Should we dock on this beach? Here. Boy. Sir. Kaveka. And it hears you as well. Don't be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. 
us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Distracted. <laughs> 